Tonight, another scandal at the Capitol involving pages gone wild, allegations of oral sex and shoplifting, and now calls for the page program to be scrapped. Fox 5's Ross Plater is following the story and joins us now with the latest. Ross? Well, Sean, this one is quickly turning political. Republicans still smarting from the Mark Foley scandal are pointing out that this one happened on Democrats' watch. It was just over a year ago that Florida Congressman Mark Foley was in the headlines. Caught sending sexually inappropriate emails and text messages to former male pages. He resigned in disgrace and there were repeated calls for changes in the congressional page program. Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington is the group that blew the lid off that scandal. Now its director says it sure seems like Congress didn't learn any lessons. You would really have thought that the adults would have been on top of the page situation enough and would have been supervising the kids in the program. Now comes word that two pages were performing sex acts in front of their peers in the congressional dorm and two others were allegedly caught shoplifting. In the wake, two Republican House members have resigned from the page board and are asking Democrats how could this happen? But the watchdog group says this one's no Foley gate. It was an adult member of Congress preying on teenage pages. This is about teenage misbehavior, the kind of misbehavior you can see teenagers engage in in any school in America. And really, I think it's time for people to stop pointing fingers that it's a Republican problem or a Democratic problem, and they need to work together to protect the kids in the page program. Both House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Minority Leader John Boehner are calling for an investigation and said they would, quote, conduct a thorough review of the PAGE program's organization and operation and make recommendations concerning its long-term future. Now, if that program is overhauled, it would be the second time within a year. Just after the Foley debacle, the House voted to add a former page and the parent of a former page to the oversight board. Sean? All right, Ross, thank you. Now, this may renew calls for the page program to end. Some argue it has simply outlived its usefulness. Reverend